Hi there, my name is Matt. And here's a little note for hands-on practitioners. I'm a professional body worker myself and I teach workshops internationally for hands-on practitioners. In the Somatic Consent Engagement System, we identify through consent who is doing the action and who is it for when any two people engage. If you're touching people in any form of body work, ask yourself this. How do you find the dynamic of taking action for you? In other words, how is it to touch someone for your own pleasure? Some practitioners find this challenging. And within helping professions, we are infamously bad at receiving loving, attentive support from others. That might sound strange, but it's often true. And it's also often the case when it comes to receiving pleasure through your own touch outside of your work. When giving body work, on a neurological level, the information inflow in your hands is open. You're aware of subtle changes in muscle tone and how the client responds to your touch. But your awareness of sensual inflow for your pleasure switches off. The information you are taking in through your hands is labeled work. And when you work, the connection of inflow to sensual pleasure is switched off for very good reason. Your action for your sensual pleasure doesn't have any place in your work. Working professionally with a client is not doing an action for your pleasure, it is for them. Your job is to massage this person or to serve them with your body work. However, this also might mean that in your personal life, each time you begin to move your hands, there can be a tendency to go into work mode using the skills and strokes that you have been trained in and that you have deeply embodied. As a professional body worker, this way of touching is very appropriate while you're working, but it's not so helpful with your lover. Your lover isn't there to be worked on, your lover is there to be with. When I teach practitioners how to feel pleasure with their hands, many of them realize that they carry an inherent belief that feeling pleasure by touching another person is wrong. This can be a huge aha moment and is not uncommon for confusion, doubt, shame or tears to arise. As a professional touching a client, you use strokes and techniques for a purpose. You're providing a service by doing something for them. So being in session makes it impossible to practice your sensual inflow. Similar when you're with your lover, you might also feel that you must be doing something useful for them in order to be with them, rather than just being with them, even if you enjoy doing something useful. For many, this is a deep unconscious belief and can be challenging and sometimes emotional to see. It might be a big step to recognize that your action for your own pleasure is about being with your lover and enjoying touching them without having to be useful or doing the right things. What I can say with absolute certainty is that in order to fear your lover, you don't need to give to them, do something to them or for them. And for sure, you don't need to fix or to heal them. What you do need is their permission. One important fact here is that pleasure is not the indicator who is it for. You guess right, what makes it really clear who is it for is your agreement. Here's how you practice the dynamic of your action for your pleasure with a lover or any other person that is willing. The words that you use to ask permission are, can I or may I feel your hand? The words can I, may I opens up to potential sensual pleasure, while the words I will give or would you like opens up to potential work and shutting down the possibility for sensual pleasure. When practicing with a partner, a few things will make a big difference. Don't sit opposite your partner as you want to break the association of working on somebody. Sit next to them and bring their hands over to your body and then lean back. Make sure that you are seated comfortably and lean back because if you're leaning towards your partner, you will automatically shift into a working mindset. And start out by feeling the joints and physical structure of your partner's hand. Your hands will gradually start to notice more and more details while noticing that the action is for you. 
Make sure your hands move very slowly and reduce the speed of your action by half and then by half again. This increases your ability to feel pleasure. What might help is to alternate between feeling an object with your hands and feeling your lover's hand when you go back and forth between the object and the hand. Your body will remember what it's like to just feel pleasure. When you play with this, you will discover that it's okay to be with somebody without having to fix them, work on them, give to them, or do the right thing. This might challenge your beliefs about who you are as a person or a professional. Stay with this until it really drops in for you. Your experience will be very different from how it feels when you're usually working. When you really get the your action for your pleasure dynamic, you will have a big impact on your professional practice too. The quality of your touch will increase because you will be much more present. Of course, if you're giving a massage, you're not there to enjoy yourself or following your pleasure, but your hands will be more open, relaxed, sensitive and perceptive. And this will be much more enjoyable for you and your clients and much more beneficial for you. When you're comfortable with the dynamic of touching and feeling your own pleasure, you can easily keep this dynamic out of your client sessions. Or if your sessions include two-way touch, you can even include your sensual pleasure. What is important is that you can tell the difference and choose whether to connect to your sensual pleasure or not, whether working or not. So this is just a note for body workers, but it's mostly true for us all. I feel personally very fortunate to be paid to work hands-on with people because it's a wonderful work. If this resonates with you, please feel welcome to reach out for the next offered practitioner training for professionals at www.somaticconsent.com. See you there and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.